is sectioning a document uh, within InDesign. Now, you may be familiar with section breaks from Word, terribly confusing to deal with, and typically we're using them for um, doing things like, you know, alternate margins, landscape versus portrait pages, different styles, page numbering, different headers and footers, these types of things. Well, in InDesign, it's not so really complex. And I'm going to use the example of page numbers uh, in this one. But keep in mind, you don't actually need to create a different section to create a different page layout. That can be done with master pages. So in this document, I just have one master. It's called the A master. It's applied to all of the pages in the document. You can see in the pages panel, there's quite a few pages. What I've done is I've inserted the page number. And if you needed information about how to put in page numbers into your document in InDesign, uh, there's a little card up in the top uh, corner. I've done a link to a video there where it explains how to put in page numbers. Uh, but in this case, we're going to talk about documents sections. So what I'd like to do is pages one to four, I would like actually numbered using Roman numerals, lowercase Roman numerals. And uh, starting at page five, I'd like that to reset and actually be uh, page one. <clears throat> so maybe like, you know, the first four pages could be my table of contents and then my actual document I want to start on, in this case, page five. So what I need to do is I need to insert a section there. So it's very simple to do. I'm simply going to click on the page where I'd like to start a section. And then I'm going to click the panel options button. And this is done all in the pages panel. And if you need to access the pages panel, you can do that under the window menu and choose pages. I already have mine activated here on the side of my screen. So just pulled it out and now I can, now I can use it. So you're going to click on the page you'd like to start the section at. So in this case, page five. You'll notice I haven't double clicked there. I'm still viewing page one right now. I've just highlighted page five. That's good enough. Then you're going to click the panel options button. And in here, you're going to choose the option called numbering and section options. And that pops up this dialog box. So what you'd like to do is you'd like to start a new section and you'd like to restart the page numbering at one in this case. But obviously keep in mind, you can simply continue page numbering or you can specify uh, what page number you'd like to start at. You can even add a section prefix to this, chapter one, you know, chapter two, section one, these types of things. And then of course the important piece is the style. Now, this is the section I'm starting at page five, so I want it numbered one, two, three, four, okay? And I'm not gonna bother including the prefix. So I'm simply gonna hit okay to this, and it warns me, a warning pops up in this case, and it says, just so you know, you're gonna have two page ones. Uh, page one is gonna be called page one, and what technically is page five is gonna be numbered one and I'm okay with that for now so I'm gonna click OK and you can see that that's what it does pages one two three and four are numbered one two three four and then starting at page five it's numbered page one again I'm gonna double click so I can show you so there is page four and now it's reset to one you can also tell a section was created because it puts this little black arrow above the page number that indicates that section uh, a new section is starting on that page and every document has one it's actually there was one above page one, but I don't know if we've noticed it before, but um, that has a black triangle there indicating essentially a section. So what you can do is I'm gonna go into the first section and I'm gonna go back into my panel options button, choose numbering and section options. Here, I'm gonna just choose the style I'd like to use. So in this case, it was lowercase Roman numerals. And because I'm in the first section, it should only apply to pages one, two, three, and four. So when I hit OK, you can see that change happens over on the side as well as the page numbers that I've inserted, these big page numbers so you can kind of see them in the video. There they are, the Roman numerals. And starting at page technically five, it's starting at number one. So document sections are actually quite easy to work with um, within InDesign. It's just a matter of utilizing the pages panel and the panel options button.